Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to deal with spiritual warfare real quick. Now we're going to tag team because I'm going to talk a little bit and then Brian Karn's going to talk and then I'm going to close. But I want you to hear this. A lot of you are struggling. You're wondering why you attract the wrong kind of people. Some of you attract controlling people. Some of you attract abusive people. Some of you attract uh, homosexuals. Some of you attract uh, liars. Some of you attract people who stir up strife. Always something. And it seems like it follows you everywhere you go. Well, that's what you call an assignment of the enemy. That's why the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. See, we're dealing with the spiritual realm. So you cannot fight a spiritual realm in the natural. You have to fight spirit with spirit. You have the Holy Spirit in you. And the Bible says no weapon formed against you will, pro excuse me, will prosper. So I want you to hear what he has to say. Now remember I said a while back that demons deal in regions. There are demons assigned to different cities, different states, different neighborhoods, different streets. And that's why some of the same thing happens in those areas. When I was in Pasadena, I was always struggling financially. Everything seemed to be a struggle. Everybody I knew was struggling. And we were all believing God. But we never dealt with the demons that were uh, usurping authority over that region. And we had the authority over them. Never dawned on us. Then the Lord leads me over to the high desert where it seems to be blessing, tremendous blessing, and safety. And everybody I know is blessed, safe, and well provided for, whether rich or poor. So I want you to hear this, because it really does make a difference where you live, as well as how you live. Amen. Father, let everyone hear this and receive it in their spirits and understand. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now notice what man he gave dominion to. Genesis 1, let us make man our own image. Let them have dominion. Genesis 2, he forms a man, but don't give that man nothing. But the man in Genesis 1, he gave dominion. So notice what man he gave dominion to. He didn't give dominion to your flesh. But to the spirit man. He gave dominion to your spirit. Well, why are you trying to fight stuff in the flesh? That can only be dealt with in the... Oh, y'all going to catch it. For the weapons of our warfare are not... Tell somebody, this thing is spiritual. This thing... Come on, you ain't say that right. Come on, tell them, this thing is spiritual. That demon coming against your marriage is spiritual. Now, this is Pat's two cents, real quick. The scripture says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but are, are mighty through God to the pulling down, <clears throat> down of strongholds. That demon coming against your ministry is spiritual. That sickness attacking your body, it's spiritual. And you sitting up trying to deal with something in the natural that can only be dealt with in the spirit. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. The rulers of darkness of this world slap your neighbor and say this thing is spiritual. This thing that is happening in our country, I don't care who the president is. I don't care what party gets in power. This ain't no party problem. This is a sin problem. Proverbs 14, 34 declares that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach unto any people. Until you deal with the spirit, that thing gonna keep coming back. And I need to help somebody.
out in here because you wonder why something keep happening in your life you don't never deal with the spirit you just deal with the person so you get rid of the person and the spirit shows up in somebody else because you don't deal with the spirit but I've been sent by the Holy Ghost to get all the way to the root of that matter and command every demon to in your life it got to go in the name of Jesus somebody shout it gotta go this thing is spiritual Sit down. You got to recognize that when the enemy is after you, when he's trying to destroy you, the devil is not just trying to possess a person, but there are demons assigned to every region. You remember Mark, the fifth chapter, when the demon came out of the man, he said, I don't mind coming out, but don't make me leave the country. Don't make me leave the grave. See, there are demons assigned to certain cities. There's a demon of homosexuality assigned to Atlanta and San Francisco. There's a demon of murder in Chicago. There's a demon of lust and greed in Nevada. Are you hearing me? There are demons hanging over certain cities. That's why some of y'all ain't go through stuff until you move to a certain city. Until you got in a certain neighborhood. Until you got to a certain house. Because there was a demon hanging over that region. And I don't care what you do. Until you deal with that principality. It's going to keep coming against you. You got to stop coming to church and patty cake and God you know what we need in church we need people who don't want to preach but want to pray y'all ain't saying nothing here everybody want to preach but don't nobody want to pray don't nobody want to come to church and get on your face let me tell you something there are attacks that have come against this ministry it wasn't natural it was spiritual because the man of God stood up and declared holiness and righteousness and there were demons assigned you're quiet in here you don't you dare think that witches don't come in the service you got witches matter of fact you got some of them in here right now but I break your power there and declare no weapon y'all ain't talking to me formed against this how shall prosper shake somebody and say the blood now <clears throat> We have to get used to certain weapons. Unfortunately, a lot of us come through church and we don't realize the weapons of our warfare that we should be having in our arsenal. One of them is the word of God. Another one is the name of Jesus that is all so powerful. Another one is praise, praising God in the face of adversity. And you know what praising God does? The name of Jesus gets rid of demons. They flee. Praising God makes demons want to get out of Dodge because it torments them. It confuses the enemy. In the Old Testament, a lot of times when they dealt with praise and worship, when they were at war, the enemy turned on itself and they were killing themselves and didn't realize that instead of killing the enemies, they were killing themselves. And the, the people of God didn't have to raise a, a hand. All they had to do was stand there and praise God. And God sent confusion right in the enemy's camp. See, a lot of times we want to depend on our skills, on our conniving abilities, on our controlling factors. And, you know, we want to rule the nest, so to speak. But sometimes some of y'all need to stop being so grown. And you need to step back and say, Lord, have at it. My hands are off. Now, I did the very same thing. Today, Satan tried to discourage me. Dealing with the YouTube channel, dealing with the views, dealing with the finances. And I had to keep reminding myself, Pat, you are blessed. You're in a blessed region. God told you to do this. You obey. You have to trust that he will be faithful to follow through. And one of our YouTubers made a donation that is enabling me to pay my trash bill and sewer bill. I would not have been able to pay it. So 
God is reminding me on a daily basis. I got this thing. You don't have to finesse and finagle. I got this. Lean on my promises. Take me at my word. I am a very present help. God bless you as you allow God to encourage you as well. Merry Christmas and bless New Year. And I'm going to wish you that constantly every time I do a video if I just remember to do so. God bless you all.